Club Express copying and moving content in the page builder. Custom pages are used to build out the unique content of your website, including information which is not represented by Club Express built-in functions. Each page can contain text, images, videos, and links to other pages and external sites. This video demonstrates the tools that you can use to copy or move content within and between custom pages. We were already logged into one of our demo sites as an administrator. So we go to the Control Panel's Website tab and select Custom Pages. If you click on the Edit icon for a page in the search results, the editor will open with the content of the currently active version. If you click on the Versions icon, you can select any of the versions. This could be useful if the content you want to copy is from an older version. For now, we'll just edit the active version because we want to change the layout of some information on the page and also copy one cell's content to another page. Pages contain rows, which in turn contain one or more cells. Each cell can contain a widget with content. Rows can be moved up and down either by dragging the row handle or by clicking on the row and selecting Move Down or Move Up in the Row Tools panel. The Copy item in this panel duplicates the current row. So this is an easy way of creating a row that's very similar to one that already exists. For example, you might want more than one row that contains an upcoming event widget and filter for different event categories. So just duplicate a row and adjust the properties as required. However, how do you reorganize the widgets on a page? This is where cell copy and paste comes in. For example, if we have a row about a photo contest and we want to swap the position of two cells, we can create a new row and copy the cell contents into the new row in the new positions. So let's click on Row Templates and drag a new two-cell row into the workspace. Then select one of the cells. It will be highlighted in blue, and in the Cell Tools panel, select Copy. This does not duplicate the cell, but instead puts the content of the cell into a page editor clipboard so it can be pasted into any cell in this or any other custom page. Next, highlight the cell where you want the content to display. Because this cell is currently empty with no widget type selected, the widget toolbar appears. When there's content in the editor clipboard, a paste widget button is displayed. Drag this button to the target cell and confirm that you want to put the contents into the cell. Then the cell is updated with a copy of whatever was in the editor clipboard. Now we'll do the same for the other cell. Copy to the editor clipboard and paste into the empty cell. If the cell already has a widget type specified, clicking on the cell displays the Cell Tools panel for that type of widget. If there is content in the editor clipboard, a paste choice is available, so you don't need to go to the widget toolbars to paste the clipboard content. Then we can remove the row with the previous layout, make any other changes, then save the page, optionally making it active, and we're done. As mentioned, content in the editor clipboard can be used to copy a widget between pages. The editor content is available as long as the current browser session is still active. If it times out, or you log out, or the browser is closed, the editor clipboard is cleared. So let's open the editor for another custom page that already has a widget for the photo contest that has both text and a photo. We highlight the cell and select Copy from the Cell Tools panel. Now we can cancel the edit and open the editor for the page where we want to use this content. Instead of creating a two-cell row split evenly with the contest image in one cell and the text in the second cell, we'll place a two-cell row with a 40-60 split onto the workspace. Then when highlighting the larger cell, we can paste the editor clipboard content into the cell. Now we can add whatever content we want to the first cell. In this case, we'll just copy and paste an upcoming event widget from another row. Then we can either delete the rows we no longer need, or if we want to use those rows later on, just change the row visibility to hidden for now and save the form. One thing to keep in mind is that you can copy content to the editor clipboard during any page editor session, even between versions of the same page. For example, you can go to the version manager for a page, Click on Edit for an older version and copy a widget from that version, cancel the edit, 
open another version, perhaps one that's active, and add the content. So now you've seen how to duplicate rows in the page editor and how to use the editor's clipboard to copy and paste widget content within and between custom pages. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.